EOS laser mapping is a mapping method that uses a laser rangefinder combined with an arrow receiver to capture remote positions from where you can't occupy them. Uh, usually this is the case of either safety or a bad GNSS environment. So whether you're under dense tree canopy, under building overhangs, if you're capturing positions where a pipeline is being buried, you can't go in there, um, or a busy street that you need to capture manholes or valves or other things in the middle of an intersection, um, it can be very useful to be able to stand to the side or away from that location, but still capture accurate positions where those cars are passing by or where that pipeline is being installed. Now this mapping method requires combining a laser rangefinder with one of their receivers. The laser rangefinder provides the distances, the inclination, and sometimes the azimuth readings, while the Arrow Gold or Arrow 100 uh, provides the accurate uh, positions on the face of the earth. There are three different methods that we provide for capturing these offset positions. First and the simplest is gonna be the range azimuth method, which uses a True Pulse 360 or 360R uh, laser rangefinder. And you just take manually take a reading, you punch in the three different numbers into EOS Tools Pro, which is already grabbing its position from the Arrow Boulder 100, and then it'll feed that to your mapping software, um, which supports Esri Collector. The next method is the range backsight. It's a, a bit of more equipment. Um, this is more equivalent to a total station. Um, so it has uh, accurate RTK readings from the Arrow Gold. It has accurate distances and inclination readings from the True Pulse 200X. Then it has accurate azimuth readings from the True Angle. Um, while it's the most complex method and requires the most equipment, it is the easiest for capturing many positions from one spot. So if I could sit in one place and shoot 10 different uh, trees or valves or such things like that, then this would be the most efficient method. Range range is the last method, and that is uh, basically it looks like a regular Arrow Gold RTK setup on a range pole, except for the fact that you have a True Pulse 200X mocked with range pole as well. And so this is a very light and portable solution, which allows you to capture these remote positions um, but it requires two shots per asset. So if I have one valve down an alley between two buildings, I can take shots from two different spots into that alley, combine those two RTK measurements and laser measurements to get an accurate position. Uh, let's dive a little bit deeper into the methods of these three uh, solutions in the next three videos. So uh, whichever setup looks like it's gonna suit your capabilities the most, click on that video and see how it really works.